Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. You are with me, Sada Shivra. Today's session, we are going to learn the most important Java interview questions. See here, these Java interview questions have been designed especially to get you acquainted with the nature of questions you may encounter during the interview for the subject of Java programming language. As per my experience, good interviewers hardly plan to ask any particular questions during your interview. Normally, questions starts with yes, some basic concepts of the subject and later they may continue based on further discussions and what you answer. Now, I am going to discuss about what is the JIT compiler. See here. JIT. JIT JIT means just in time just in time compiler or it's a dynamic compiler the just in compiler is a component of the java runtime environment it improves the performance of a java application by compiling the byte code to native machine code at runtime if you see this diagram this is the architecture of a JIT compiler in the java programming language and environment a just in compiler is a program that turns a java program that contains a instructions that must be interpreted into instructions that can be sent directly to the processor after you have written a java program the source language statements are compiled by the java compiler into a bytecode rather than into a code that contains instructions that match a particular hardware platform processor. The bytecode is a platform independent code that can be sent to any platforms under run on that platform. In the past, most of the programs written in any language have had to be a recompiled and sometimes rewritten for each computer platform. One of the biggest advantage of Java is that the only have to write the compiler a program once. The Java on, the Java on any platform will interpret the compiled bytecode into a instructions understandable by the particular processor. However, the virtual mission handles one bytecode instructions at a time using the java just in compiler at the particular system platform compiles the bytecode into a particular system code once the code has been recompiled by the jit compiler it will usually runs more quickly in the computer the just in compiler comes with the virtual mission and in used optionally it compiles the bytecode into a platform specific executable code that immediately executed. Sun Microsystems suggested suggests that usually faster to select the just in compiler option, option, especially if the method executable is repeatedly reused. Next, I am going to discuss about what is a platform. Java is a programming language and computer platform for your application development. It was first released by the Sun Microsystems in 1995 and later acquired by the Oracle Corporation. A Java platform includes a, an execution engine, a compiler and a set of libraries. Java is not a specific to any processor or an operating system. Like C compiler, Java compiler does not produce negative executable code for a particular mission. Instead, Java produced a unique format called bytecode. It executes according to a rules laid out in the virtual mission specifications. Java is a free to access and you can download the latest version from your Oracle Corporation official website. Next, I am going to discuss about 
how many types of memory areas are allocated by the JVM? There is a different memories allocated in the JVM. Those are heap area, method area, JVM language stacks, and the PC registers and negative method stacks. First one, class loader. Class loader is a subsystem of a JVM that is used to load the class files. Next, method area. Method area stores per class stretches such as the runtime constant pool, fields and method data, the code further methods. Next, heap area. It is the runtime data area in which objects are allocated. The next area is stack area. Java stack stores the frames. It holds the local variables and a partial results and plays a part of a method invocation and return. Each thread has a private JVM stack created at the same time as threads. A new frame is created each time a method is invoked. A frame is destroyed when a method invocation is completes. The next area is program counter register. PC register means program counter register. It contains the address of a Java virtual mission instructions currently being executed. The next area is negative method stack. It contains all the negative methods used in the application. The next area is execution engine. It contains a, a virtual processor, interrupter means read bytecode stream then executes the instructions. The next one is JIT compiler. It is used to improve the performance. JIT compiles the part of a bytecode that have a similar functionality at the same time and hence reduce the amount of time need to for the compiler. Here the term compiler refers to a translation from the instruction set of a Java virtual mission JVM to the instruction set of a specific CPU. The next I am going to discuss about what is the main differences between Java platform and other platforms? And coming to the Java platform, it is a software only platform. And also Java platform supports Java runs top of hardware platform. Java platform consisting of a Java virtual machine and Java API. Very API supports to write a Java files. Then Java compiler converts Java files to class files. And the JVM converts byte stream to machine language, which any computer can read. Java is a platform independent, means write once run anywhere. Means Java code can developed on any device and compiled it into a byte stream, then run in any platform which have JVM. Installation of a Java interpreter on chips or a JVM nowadays has become started practice. Programmers can develop code on any PC. It may be a Windows, it may be a Linux systems, it may be a Mac. And coming to the other platforms can be a hardware only platforms, hardware software platforms. Could only the hardware components. Other platforms, this functionality is mixing on other platforms. There is a Java platform consisting of a Java virtual machines and Java API. And coming to the other platforms, may not platform independent. Here, Java is a platform independent. We can write in Java code, write once and run anywhere. And coming to the other platforms, it's not possible to write once and run anywhere. And coming to the other platforms, this functionality is not available. What functionality? Programmer can develop any in PC, any PC. If you can develop the Java programs in any PC, if you go with the other platforms, it's not possible to develop the any PCs. Only for a particular PC, it's available to develop it. Next, I'm going to discuss about what gives Java its right run 
write once and run anywhere nature the java compiler compiles a java program and converts it into a bytecode that is a highly optimized set of instructions designed to be executed by the jvm because of bytecode a java program can run on wide variety of platforms jvm is a platform dependent that is its implementation differs from a platform to plat platform but these all jvms can executed the same java bytecode hence it is a java bytecode due to which java code is written once but can be run anywhere if you see this program you can write a java program in any machine and compile it it generates the bytecode that bytecode can run in any mission it may be a windows systems it may be a solaris it may be a mac next i am going to discuss about what is the class loader class loader in java is a class which is used to load class files in a java java code is compiled into a class file by java c compiler and jvm executes a java program by executing the bytecode written in a class files class loader is responsible for loading class files from file system network or any other sources there is a three different class loaders used in java the first one is bootstrap the second one is extensions and third one is system application class loader these are the three loaders in available in class loader every class loader has a predefined location from where they loads a class files bootstrap class loaders is responsible for loading the st standard jdk class files from rt.jar and it is a parent of all class loaders in java bootstrap class loader doesn't have any parent if you call string class dot get class loader method it will return null and any code based on that any may throws null pointer exception in java bootstrap class loader is also known as primordial class loader in java next extension class loader extension class loader delegates the class loading requests to its parent bootstrap and if on successful load class from jre under lib under extension directory or any other directory pointing by the java extension directory systems properties extensions class loaders in jvm is implemented by the sun dot miscellaneous mic dot launcher in that one static class is there that is ext class loader static class the third default class loader used by the jvm is to load java classes is called system or application class loader and it is responsible for loading the application specific classes from class path environment variables hyphen class path or hyphen cp command line options class path attribute for manifest file inside the jars application class loader is a child of extension class loader are implemented using java.lang.class loader in the short here is the location from which bootstrap extension and application class loader loads the class files bootstrap class loader loads from jre under lib under rt.jar the extension class loader loads from jre folder under lib under extension folder or any other directory denoted by java.ext. directories application class loader loads class path environment variables class path maybe it may be a hyphen class path or it may be a hyphen cp options class path attributes of a manifest inside the jar files next i am going to discuss is delete next main exit or null keywords in java 
if you see this diagram i mentioned all the keywords what are the available in in java here delete delete is not a keyword and the next next is also a not a keyword and coming to the main main is not a keyword and exit exit is not a keyword and coming to the null null is on not a keyword what are the main uh, what are the keywords mentioned in this question those are all not the keywords next i'm going to discuss about if i don't provide any arguments on the command line then the string array of a main method will be empty or null if you didn't provide anything in the main method argument string array that must be empty but it's not a null what is the difference between object oriented programming language and object based programming language now i am going to discuss about this question some various point of views if you coming to the support point of view support of futures object based programming language does not support all the features of whoops and coming to the object oriented programming language object oriented language supports all the features of object oriented programming features what is object oriented programming features abstraction inheritance polymorphism these are the whoops concepts next inheritance point of view in the inheritance point of view object based language does not supports whoops futures inheritance in inheritance doesn't supports the object based language and coming to the object oriented language inheritance is supported by the object oriented languages next simplicity in the simplicity point of view visual basic is an object based programming language because you can use class and objects here but cannot inherit one class from another class that is it doesn't supports the inheritance and coming to the object oriented language java is an object oriented language because it supports all the concepts of whoops like data encapsulation polymorphism inheritance data abstraction and dynamic binding and object based language under javascript javascript is an object based language and vb it's an object based language visual basic vb means visual basics these are all object based languages and coming to the object oriented language c hash this is an object oriented language java vb visual basic dot net these are the sum of the object oriented languages next i am going to discuss about what will be the initial value of an object reference which is be find as an instance variable then object reference of all initialized to null in java whenever we are creating an object initially it initialized by the null value that is the null value object reference of all initialized to null whenever we are creating an object in java automatically java initialized by the yeah, java initialized thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel sadot learning hub because we have many session that would help you to develop our skills and i will be back soon till then you take care bye bye